Hi everyone, this is a teleconverter, a two times teleconverter. Basically what it does, if you whack it in between your camera and your lens, your 50 mil becomes 100 mil. Perfect. Best invention since sliced bread. Or is it? Let's put it to the test. Back in the 60s and the 70s, they were a staple of every amateur photographer's camera bag. That was a cheap way to get a telephoto lens without breaking the bank. But they also had bad reputation to yield to bad quality images. But since most people were getting their prints on 4x6, quality was not really an issue. It was okay. I don't know about you guys, but I was surprised that the quality was so good, even for a teleconverter like this. This was not high-end equipment, unlike Canon teleconverters they sell today for a very high price. This was entry-level for amateur photographers. Pretty good results. To simulate the worst-case scenario, I'm going to use this 70 to 230 zoom lens from IT Color. Never heard of this brand. It's not known for its excellent quality. And we'll see how it is. Good or bad? I don't know. So uh, this is the final setup. The lens is pointing at the church right over there, and there is no teleconverter whatsoever. I'm using an aperture of 11, and we'll see how it turns out to be. The lens has the best chance to perform the best way it could. Okay then, here we go. Honestly, that's a pretty good result, especially for a lens that was not meant to be of high quality. So yeah, pretty satisfied with it. But now let's use it with a teleconverter two times. So let's do the math. 230 becomes uh, 460. Let's check this out. Oh, yeah, it's getting darker. Yes, each time you're using a teleconverter, you are losing some light. Let me explain you why. By the way, thanks to the chapters, you can skip it if you're not interested. Okay, so how does it work? This is your lens and this is the teleconverter. But first, let's look at the lens and the diaphragm. The lens has a 50 millimeter focal length and the diaphragm has a diameter of 25. Divide them together and you get two. F2. This is how you calculate the aperture and two, 2.8, 4, etc. It goes on like this. But now let's imagine we whack in this two times teleconverter. So the lens becomes 100 millimeter, but the diaphragm is still 25 millimeter. So now let's divide them together and we get four. We lost two stops. So yes, it's getting darker, even though this is a relatively modern DSLR with a, a bright viewfinder usually. Well, once again, the doubler has a loss of quality, but that's totally usable. I, I mean, if you were to print this on a four by six inches, you wouldn't see a, much of a difference. I'm now using the self timer because uh, just touching the camera, the images jitters in the viewfinder because, uh, well, it's 460 mil now. Back in the day, we also had these triplers or three times teleconverters. So let's do the math. This 230 millimeter would become, well, right around 700. Let's give this a shot. I have my doubts. It's not going to be good, but hey, it's for science. Obviously, this is not going to be as good as a real 700 millimeter, but at least you get an image. But wait a second. What if I was to combine the three times teleconverter with the two times teleconverter? Uh, okay, let's do the math. 230, around 700, 1400 mil. Let's give this a try. Well, what did you expect? Well, if you were a paparazzi or something, maybe it would have been interesting to get something out of this. But come on, quality is not good. Well, but talking about paparazzi, there are some celebrities out there. I'm gonna take a shot and see how it works. That joke moment, I think they're gonna moo or sue. I don't know. But anyways, let's go crazier than that. This is a teleconverter. Two times teleconverter and look at that I get two of them meaning we're gonna go from 1400 to 2800 I think you would be better by cropping the original image and upscaling it with software rather than using this contraption uh, that's, no it's too blurry you get no details and um, no it's 
basically useless at that point. But that was fun. I mean, it's an experiment it's for science or YouTube, YouTube science, whatever you want to call it. And that's all I've got for you today. As always, uh, thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Leave a like, a comment down below and subscribe and uh, catch you next time. Goodbye. I'm going to try to get the horsey. Not bad at all. That is the proof, if you needed one, that these teleconverters were somehow usable for the amateur, unless you want to spend a fortune on a telephoto lens. Why am I carrying so much equipment? I don't know.